Hello everybody and welcome here to a video tutorial on how to paint cars in 3D on Adobe's um, Substance 3D Painter and in Photoshop. Um, there's a few things that we're going to need to grab before we start, but um, just to let you know, um, honestly there's so much to do in the 3D space and so much that can go wrong, So, and I'm kind of new to this all myself, so... Um, I don't know if I'd be able to help in the comments. Um, probably not worth your time waiting on a response from me. Um, mostly all I can say is I just figured it out pretty much. So <laughs> this will basically just be a tutorial on how to get started. A pretty quick and um, basic tutorial. So we'll go in here to our browser of choice. And first thing that we're going to need is Blender on blender.org slash download. Um, as of the time of recording, this is the newest version, is 3.6. And we'll go ahead and open that up. Next step, next, next, install. As you can see, I didn't put anything special there. Just next, next, next. Oh yeah. Now that it's installed, look over here, Blender 3.6, open it up, and actually we're going to go over to the next thing that we need, which is going to be this um, X-File importer. So this is going to be able to um, open our 3D model. There's going to be car viewer files for pretty much any NR2003 mod out there. Um, you can find some on my website. Um, all in our 2003.webs.com or all in our 2003.godaddysites.com. Um, and then down here, our viewer files by mod. Um, or whatever website you go to download your your mod from. They'll, a lot of times have car viewer files, pretty common. Um, also known as X files, which that's what this plugin is going to allow us to do. So. On GitHub, you're just going to open the link in the description, hit code, and then hit download zip. Open up um, File Explorer, and you're just going to go into Documents. And right click, make a new folder, and I called mine Blender. I'm just going to drag that, that zip file that we just um, downloaded from GitHub into that Blender folder. Then back here in Blender, you just click off to the side on the splash screen. And we're going to go up to Edit and then Preferences. After we're in Preferences, we go to Add-ons. And under add-ons, we're going to go to install. Um, and then the reason why I made the Blender folder is it automatically opens in documents. So I'll go ahead and go to Blender. And then just double click on that um, zip file that we just dragged in there. And then um, right here you'll see import export DirectX file format. There's a little box right here. Check that box. And then we can exit out of there. And now we have our plugin installed. We can go, actually, first thing, we're going to delete this cube. So, cube is automatically highlighted um, when you open Blender. So, I'm just going to hit the delete button on my keyboard to delete it. And we're going to go to File and then Import. And we're going to click. X file at the very bottom. So now here's where you would download your X file or what have you. Um, I downloaded um, for this example. We're going to be using um, Bullring's Gen 6 mod, the original 2013 mod. So I just went on Bullring's site, Big D Online Motorsports, and selected the car viewer files. And then they have them inside of folders here, so um, 
Just gonna open that up. Go back to the desktop. I'm gonna actually open File Explorer desktop. And we can drag um, whichever one that you want. Whatever is an X file, um, you can open in Blender. So I'm gonna pick car with glass. And we're just gonna actually already have it there. I'll go ahead and place it anyway. There we go. Now I've got that on my desktop or wherever you choose to extract it. As long as it's not in this in the zip folder, we're good to go. So on here, go to desktop. And then I'm just gonna open that X file up. Alright, now that we've got our X file in here, um you can use the middle mouse button and just hold it down to and the camera around. There's also little controls here. Well, you can just click off of these to be able to pan the camera around. Um, so we're going to want to clean up our object here. We want to get it as close to just the paint layer we can get. Um, not only is it going to help our GPU, but um, it'll make it less complicated for when we're painting in 3D. So we want to get rid of like all the wheels and all the extra stuff that we're not going to be painting in 3D. Um, if you plan on doing like renders or whatever, um, just save those as a as a completely separate object. But we're not going to be doing renders today, we're just going to be painting. So over here in the right hand side, you'll see like my object, my object one, two, and three, four. Um, you just click on each of these and delete until you get just down to your paint layer. And for this file, um, we have two files left over basically. Um, our hood and the rest of the car. Okay, so from this point, you just go over here to file and then export as an object file, an OBJ file. And if you're using the Gen 6 mod in particular, um, and some of the other mods out there, um, they will import our, our paint file as like mirrored um, for some reason. So we're going to fix that on this one. Um, if you don't know if yours is going to be mirrored or not, just go ahead and, and uh, skip this part for now, but keep Blender open and then come back to this part in the video. Um, We'll see really quickly on if it's going to be flipped or not. So, but I know that this one is going to be flipped, so we'll just go ahead and get this out of the way now. So, to flip it, I'm actually going to right click on it. And we'll mirror Y global. And now, so as you've seen, if you're observant, um, the passenger, sorry, the driver was actually in the passenger's side of the car. So now if I would have kept the um, driver in here, the driver would now be on the right side of the, of the car. Um, that's one quick way of being able to tell if it's going to work or not. Um, and if we do have to flip it like this, then we're also going to have to move our, um, our UV map. So up here at the top, you've got UV editing. So while I've got the object selected, I hit UV editing, and now we've got this little um, box down here. Looks like our template. And so if you just click off into this little um, area over here, if you just click off in the area, and then you just hit the letter A, it'll select all of our um, vertices here. Okay, so I'm actually going to hit the um, the transform tool after I've got all my um, UV selected over here on the left hand side there's a transform button right here and it's going to bring up this little white box around everything um, I also hit the snapping up here and I hit absolute grid snap just to kind of help um, help line it up here we're basically just going to move it we want it as close to exactly in the box as possible so we'll just go ahead and move it 
lined up nice and even. So, as close as we can get. You just want to try and make sure that there's no vertices outside of the bounding box. So, now that we've got that all situated, you can go up here to File, and then Export, OBJ. And we're gonna tick triangulate mesh over here on the right hand side. And we will go ahead and just save it to our desktop. And I'm gonna call this 3D Yoda. And then we'll export it. Um, so you just wanna make sure that UV coordinates is checked, normals is checked, all that's on by default. And yep. Export. And now we're done with Blender. I don't need to save it. And we're going to actually open Photoshop first before we open our 3D painter. Because we want to prepare our template. I also have a bunch of templates on the website as well, on this same page. Bunch of templates down here. Well, you can always find that through Google. Templates are out there for pretty much every mod. We'll open that up. Now we're going to prepare our template. So. Go ahead and turn off the mask. And we're going to just basically turn as much stuff off that we want to um, keep above our um, paint layer. So, say like our parts we want to keep on. All of this good stuff. Anything that we don't want to color, that we want to keep above our um, whatever we're, we're painting in 3D, we're just going to basically turn everything else off and then turn the background color off so that way we just have this transparent layer. Cool. And we will file and save this as, or actually, yeah, we'll save as. And so I'm using um, Photoshop 2023. Um, so I'll go over to save a copy. Um, don't pay attention to what's going on on the screen here, but um, if you hear me refer to um, saving as a bitmap or anything like that, um, you actually need to save it or export it as a PNG file. Um, at least Photoshop, for some reason, for me, um, did not have transparency on the bitmap file. So um, you just need something with transparency. PNG is just easiest to automatically default transparent. So, uh, yeah. I named this file parts.png. All right, now that we've got um, Substance 3D open, we can just basically close out of this box. And we're gonna go up to File and then hit New. I've got my template set as Blender Starter Assets. I'm not sure if it really matters. N24, OpenGL, not sure if that really matters either. Um, this does matter, you want Use UV Tile Workflow and have it set to Preserve UV Tile. Um, uh, I think this is also important, um, have auto unwrap unchecked. Um, and then under options, I have max UV tiles set as four and then UV Island keep original. I don't think that really matters too, too much. Um, but most of this other stuff is just default. Um, and then at the top, 
you see file and then there's a select button so we'll go to select and I'll open that 3d Yoda object I saved and then you just click OK and hopefully you should have two windows here 3d and 2d view um, with our old dealio here so And of course, the freaking UV tiles did not want to join together. Okay, that's fine. So there's there's got to be a way to um, get those to merge together. But um, all right. So after some poking and prodding around, trying to find the answers, um, there's some complicated ways to merge these two UV, um, the hood and the and the rest of the body, but it is not a big deal. Um, painting is still going to basically work the same. Um, we're just not going to have the hood be able to um, be painted at the same time as the rest of it, but we can kind of um, work our way around that. So, um, firstly, though, I guess you really don't need to check the um, the UV tile workflow when you go to um, when you're in new the UV uh, tile workflow it's not a big deal if you do um, you can but it does prevent us from sending um, there's like an option to export to Photoshop so we can kind of you know work in between the two programs at the same time um, but either way even if you do select that um, you can still basically work around that as well so we'll, we'll get into all that here so firstly um here's our you know um our setup here so i kind of undock everything because i don't know it's just called cramped <laughs> right there so i'm just going to kind of undock all this stuff but no big deal. I'm going to have it on my other monitor. You're not going to be able to see it. No big deal. So, um, down here at the bottom left, there's a little plus to import resources. We're going to click on that and hit add resources. And then we're going to find um, our arch.png. And right here you see undefined. Click on undefined and pick uh, texture. And then we're gonna put import your resources. You can pick current session and then I'll just save it for this session. Or if you hit your library, um, it'll it'll save it like permanently to your library. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit your library and hit import. Um, And then basically we can just drag and drop that onto our file here. So paint job 08 and paint job 09 or whatever you have in the in the texture set list is gonna be um, our object or our UV mesh. We're gonna drag and drop parts onto our UV mesh, and then we're gonna click on base color. Aha. So I have a properties um, fill thing over here. So instead of um, UV projection, we're going to set that to fill. And by holding down the Alt key, you can rotate the camera around. And this is where you would be able to tell if, um, if your layer was flipped or not from earlier, um, which we have it all flipped the right way. So, no big deal. So you have holding down the left alt, lets you do different things with the mouse buttons, helps you uh, move the camera around. Um, but up here, um, under material, we're gonna click on that and then select base color. 
now we have our transparent layer. So under layers, we're going to add a layer and drag it down and put it underneath parts. That way parts is on top and then that way you have like your headlights and, and the template parts to stay underneath. Um, and yeah, from here basically um, it's up to you to figure out <laughs> 3D substance. Um, there's different brush settings, all kinds of stuff that you can do. Um, I just have a regular brush right here. Um, one thing to note, we want to put alignment to UV for your brushes. It's just not, it's not a big deal either way, but yeah, there we go. Cool, and now we can paint on our 3D surface. And you can even paint on the 2D surface as well. And it all magically lines itself up. Um, over here in the layers, we also want to right click on layers and right click on the parts. And then here's where you can um, basically span things um, across those two UV layers that we have going here, the hood and the rest of the car. Um, so I'm going to click Instantitiate across texture sets. I don't know how to pronounce that. But we're going to click on this and have both sources. Click on that. And now it is spanning across both. So this will give us, if you can see. Now we've got like our hood layers and all that good stuff. It's all there. And I think it gave us some extra shading too. But yeah, there we go. Um, over here in layers, we can add a fill layer even. Do that so that way I can just show you how exporting and all that good stuff works. So we'll fill this with Let's do something crazy. There we go. Cool. So now we've got just a random texture that I picked. Should make for a good steam car. Who knows? Um, and we will go ahead and click Instantiate. However you pronounce it, across all the layers, there we go. Over here on the layers, we have this pass, pass through where all these other ones say normal. So we can do various different ones here. There was some way that I had it going, but hmm. okay, that's pretty interesting. So Say that that's what we um, wanted our scheme to be. Whatever the heck this is, a got milk scheme, I guess. And it's not complete unless we have some numbers on here. So let's uh, so there's these little filters up here. You can click on show all.
And it's best to really just uncheck all of these, but um, up to you. Um, color is all that we really need. A little bit too. Holding down control, uh, adjust the size of the brush. Cool. Now, if we wanted to import this to our game or mess with it some more in Photoshop, um, we can either, if you um, didn't select the UV thing, we can go in here and all that we really want is the base color. We can export it to Photoshop. That. And then we can add our two layers. That. Just right there in Photoshop. And even layers it for us, which is pretty cool. Or if you did select the other one. What we can do is go to File and Export Textures. And then go up to 2D View for the output template. And we can set this to PSD. And then you can export it like that as well. So. I don't know exactly how I did it, but I made a pretty cool looking one. There we go. But um, it really took like two seconds. But normally all of this would be super hard to line up. And that just shows you how easy it is. It really only took me like five minutes to do. Um, yeah, it's all up to you. You just got to kind of figure it out. Um, but, yeah. I guess that's basically it. All right, guys. See you.